Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to give to you Elemental Shaman in Mage Tower. Now Elemental Shaman quite honestly <clears throat> it's it's a doable one uh, if we can speak like that because some of the challenges are way too overtuned and let's just say that Elemental Shaman to me felt like a progress fight where doing it more and more actually got me closer to a kill and this really helped uh, overall with the fight. Now, a few things I can recommend. First of all, try to keep your Stormkeeper or have some kind of cooldown to deal with the spawns um, that Agatha does. When she spawns a bunch of other little imps and she has a round shield around her, that's when you need your Stormkeeper for most of the time. Now, there are other ways you can do that. Usually, if I don't have that, I either have my Ice Fury or I'm spamming Chain Lightning and Earthquake to make sure they die quickly, as well as spamming some defensives on myself. Now, Talents. What do we take for Talents? Now, when it came to Talents, I went full single target. I didn't see any uh, reason to go multi-target. Now, I know that the Imps can be annoying, but I felt like this is, was definitely the best choice overall uh, to deal with them. The most annoying games are the one that heal Agatha, the one I don't quite remember the names, but the ones that run to Agatha and heal her. The best way to deal with this is once they start casting, you knock them, or you stun them, or you kick one and find a way to deal with the second one, whatever works. But you need to stop them from healing. Very important, and I would prioritize that over anything. Um, when did I last? Lasted at the start along with uh, my pot and I just went ham on the damage. Not really much else to say when it comes to that. Aside for that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice one and we'll see you in the next Mage Tower. See you around guys.